Regulation is supposed to exist to protect consumers, workers, or the environment. But some regulations mostly just protect existing businesses. From what? From competition. It's not rare to see businessmen embrace regulation. Why? Because regulations often serve as barriers to entry. Barriers to entry exist in most industries. The lower the barriers, the easier it is for new small businesses to come onto the scene. Regulations are a major barrier in many industries. When new rules pop up, established businesses are fine, but new businesses will find it very tough to get in. For instance, when food trucks started to blossom in cities around the country, politicians in places like Chicago, El Paso, or Grand Rapids passed or preserved regulations to limit the truck's ability to operate downtown. Some of the proposed rules directly involve food safety, but many rules were nakedly efforts to protect restaurants from competition. We wanted this ordinance in place to help establish restaurants keep their business. That requirement was put in in 2009 to address concerns of, of the fixed food establishment vendors who didn't, didn't think it would be good for a mobile to park right outside their business. And there are two obvious victims to this sort of regulation. First are the customers. I, I like the convenience of them and I like that I can get different kinds of things. There are different cultures here. You can grab and go, but for DC you can grab and sit anywhere you want. Food trucks seem more ephemeral. It's temporary, so it feels like you want to go there while it's there. You feel good to be able to sit out here and enjoy a nice, good meal. I love it here. I love it. Regulation leaves customers with fewer choices and higher prices. The more acute harm is accrued by the businesses regulated out of business. Food truck business is, is not really new in this town, but still we, ha we don't have clear rules about food truck business. Some rules we don't know. There's a lot of paperwork and tapes and stuff that you have to go through. Don't make it too hard on us because we really love doing what we're doing. Overbearing regulation can kill a business, cut into its profits, or prevent it from expanding. For every business killed or curtailed by unnecessary regulation, there are a dozen more victims, businesses that never come to be. These are hidden victims of regulation. It's hard to count them because their businesses never failed. They were blocked from ever coming into being. But there's another victim, public safety. By killing competition, some regulations actually make the public less safe. Let's take an issue related to food trucks. The 2009 Federal Food Safety Modernization Act. This bill had the support of big food producers who could afford the costs. And we have brought in industry which supports the bill. It will protect the American food industry, the processors, the manufacturers, and the growers against unfair competitions in places like China. Small farmers, though, found the regulations too burdensome. Every additional crop that we go to grow is more paperwork, is more time. We're not lawyers, we're farmers. We enjoy actually growing a crop, actually being in the field. I can't be expected as a small producer to do the same procedures as a multi-million dollar facility. I'm not Driscoll's, I'm not Del Monte, I'm not Dole. If you're losing money year in and year out, it doesn't matter how much you enjoy it, you're not gonna be doing it. And here's the thing, by forcing out small players and driving consolidation in the food industry, these regulations can actually make food less safe. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have noted, quote, an increasingly centralized food supply means that a food contaminated in production can be rapidly shipped to many states causing a widespread outbreak. All of the above costs of protective regulation add up to less choice for consumers, more costs to small businesses, less competition as some businesses are kept out, and more risk to the public. This adds up to slower economic growth. Thus, the fifth victim of this sort of regulation is the economy. So next time you hear someone say, this regulation is even supported by business, realize that it's supported by some businesses who are profiting at the expense of everyone else. 
And those are the victims of cronyism.